Today we'll discuss about human health and diseases, which is chapter eight of our NCERT biology textbook. Health is a common term that we use in our day-to-day -day life. Now, what is health, or when do we say that a person is healthy? We say that a person is healthy when he or she does not suffer from any sort of illness or diseases. So let us define health as a state of physical, mental and social well-being. So health can be defined as a state of physical, mental and social well-being. Now let us see what are the factors that affect health. The three main factors that affect health are the first one genetic disorders, the second one infection and the third one the lifestyle. The first one genetic disorders. Genetic disorders are the disorders which a child inherits from its parents. When a child is born, the child will be born with a disorder that is a genetic disorder. The second as a factor that affects health is infection. What is infection? Due, uh, in our day to day life, when we come across certain microorganisms, these microorganisms gain entry into our body and we suffer from certain illness or diseases that is called as infection. And the third one, the lifestyle. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle includes the food which we eat, the water which we drink, the exercise that we do, as well as the rest which we give to our body. How can we maintain good health? We can maintain good health by following certain things. The first and the foremost thing is balanced diet. What is a balanced diet? A diet containing all the essential nutrients in adequate amount. That is called as a balanced diet. The second thing is personal hygiene. The third one, regular exercise. The fourth one, proper awareness about the diseases and their effects on our body. The fourth, fifth one, disposal of waste. Se seventh one, control of vectors like mosquitoes, housefly, etc. And above all, taking proper food, hygienic food and water. So by following these things, we can maintain a proper health. Now let's see, what are diseases? A person suffer from a disease when an organ or organ systems of his body is adversely affected and characterized by certain signs and symptoms. That is, when a person, for example, when a person suffers from common cold, we say that he is having an illness or a disease. So what is this common cold? Common cold is uh, when we are suffering, when a virus enters our body, we will be, our body starts showing certain symptoms of common cold. The major being runny nose, always in congestion, sore throat, etc. So when we have those symptoms, we say that we are suffering from common cold, which is a disease. Now diseases can be broadly classified into two types. The first one, infectious diseases and the second one, non-infectious diseases. Now what are infectious diseases? Infectious diseases are the diseases which can be transmitted easily from one person to another. For example, common cold is an infectious disease which gets transmitted from one person to another. Another very common uh, disease or uh, infectious disease is the COVID-19 which is caused by coronavirus which gets infected, which gets transmitted very easily. The second type of diseases are the non-infectious diseases. Non-infectious diseases are the diseases which are not transmitted from one person to another. For example, BP or hypertension is a disease which is not transmitted from one person to another. Another example is diabetes cannot be transmitted from one person to another. Cancer is another example. So diseases can be broadly classified into infectious diseases and non-infectious diseases. Now in this chapter, what we have to study is about the various diseases and the causative organism. A disease causing organism is called as a pathogen. A pathogen is a disease causing organism. Now some of the diseases which you have to study in this chapter, the first one is 
typhoid. Typhoid is a common disease which you all must have heard and it is a bacterial disease. This is caused by a bacterium known as Salmonella typhi. Once again I will repeat Salmonella typhi. Typhoid is caused by a bacterium called as Salmonella typhi. It, uh, the, this typhoid can be detected by doing a blood test which is called as Widen test. The second disease that you have to study is pneumonia. What is pneumonia? Pneumonia is caused by again uh, two different types of bacteria. Bacteria, one is Streptococcus pneumoniae and another one Haemophilus influenzae. Streptococcus pneumoniae and Haemophilus influenzae. So these are the two different types of bacteria which causes pneumonia. The third disorder is a viral disorder or viral disease which is caused uh, by a group of viruses called as rhinoviruses. This group of viruses causes common cold. The next viral disease which you have to study is AIDS. You, you all know what is the full form of AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, which is caused by a virus HIV, that is Human Immunodeficiency Virus. So Human Immunodeficiency Virus causes AIDS. The next disease that you have to study is a protozoan disease that is malaria. Malaria is caused by a protozoan called as plasmodium. This plasmodium has three different species. The three different species of plasmodium which causes ma uh, malaria are plasmodium vivax, plasmodium malaria and plasmodium falciparum. So these are the three species of plasmodium which causes malaria. Of this, Plasmodium falciparum is considered to be a fatal one. That is, when a person gets infected by Plasmodium falciparum, that person may die. So that is all about malaria. The next disease is amoebiasis. Amoebiasis is again a protozoan disease caused by Entamoeba histolytica. Entamoeba histolytica. This disease is uh, caused by protozoan intermeba histolytica. The next disease is a disease which is caused by a nematode or a roundworm which comes under the phylum Ascaridus. The name of the disease is Ascariasis, which is caused by Ascaris lumbricoids. Ascariasis caused by Ascaris lumbricoids. The next disorder is Phileriasis or aphentiasis. This is caused by a filarial worm, again which is a round worm, a nematode. This filariasis is caused by a nematode by name Uccellaria bancrofti or Uccellaria malagi. It's difficult to spell that. Uccellaria, the genus name is Uccellaria and the species name is malagi. Another one is bancrofti. So two species of Uccellaria causes Phyleriasis or elephantiasis. The next disorder that we have to study is a ringworm disease. A ringworm disease is a fungal disease which is caused by three different genus of fungus. One is trichophyton, the next one is microsporum and the third one is epidermophyton. So the three uh, genus of fungi uh, responsible for ringworm disease are one trichophyton, epidermophyton and microsporum. This uh, disease got its name as ringworm disease not because of, uh, not because that the worm is uh, having a ring shape. It is because of the appearance of ring-like patches on the different parts of the body, especially the skin, the nail as well as the scalp. So these are the different diseases that you have to study in this chapter. So once again, the first disease is typhoid caused by Salmonella typhi. Second one, pneumonia caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae and Haemophilus influenzae. Third one, common cold caused by rhinoviruses. Fourth one, AIDS caused by HIV or human immunodeficiency virus. The fifth one, a protozoan disease that is amoebiasis caused by uh, Entamoeba histolytica. 
another one malaria which is caused by plasmodium vivax plasmodium malaria or plasmodium falciparum the next uh, two diseases are diseases caused by nematodes that is uh, one is filariasis uh, also called as elephantiasis caused by Wuchereria bancrofti and Wuchereria malayi the next uh, nematode disease is I mean, the uh, ascariasis which is caused by ascaris lumbricoids and the last one is a fungal disease which is caused by the three different species or genus of uh, fungi trichophyton, epidermophyton and microsporum. So these are the diseases that we have to uh, study in this chapter. Now let us discuss about the various symptoms of these diseases. The first disease that is typhoid. Typhoid is caused by Salmonella typhi. The symptoms of typhoid are sustained high fever, headache, weakness and stomach pain. These are the four major symptoms of typhoid. Once again, sustained high fever, headache, weakness and stomach pain. The second uh, disease that is the pneumonia which is caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae or Haemophilus influenzae. Pneumonia as uh, this this uh, disease uh, is mainly mainly affects the respiratory tract uh, or the lungs. The alveoli in the lungs or the small air sacs present in the lungs gets filled with a fluid, and because of that, the person suffering from pneumonia will be having difficulty in breathing. So that is uh, the main symptom of pneumonia. That because of that, he will be having difficulty in breathing. He will be having fever. He will be having cough. He will be having headache, and so on. So these are some of the symptoms of pneumonia. The third one that is malaria, the uh, caused by Plasmodium vivax, or Plasmodium malaria, or Plasmodium falciparum. Here the major symptom is fever again, which recurs every three to four days. Sustained fever, fever which recurs, not sustained fever, intermittent fever we can say, which recurs every three to four days. That is the major symptom of uh, malaria. The next uh, disease that is uh, amoebiasis, which is caused by Entamoeba histolytica. This disease is caused due to uh, un uh, due to contaminated food or water intake of contaminated food or water. The major symptoms of this disease is the stomach pain or abdominal pain, cramps, then fever, then constipation, then sometimes the stool will be having mucus and certain blood clots. So the symptoms of the disease amoebiasis. First one, abdominal pain, constipation, sometimes cramps, sometimes the stools with mucus or blood clots. The next disease is uh, ascariasis, which is caused by ascaris lumbricons. Here the uh, main symptoms are muscular pain, then internal bleeding, fever, and because of internal bleeding, the person may suffer from anemia. The next disease is uh, filariasis, which is caused by Wuchereria bancrofti or Wuchereria malayi. This disease has the, is also known as elephantiasis. The main symptom of this disease is inflammation or swelling in the lower limbs or the legs. The, sometimes even the genital organs will be swollen or inflammated. Because of that uh, swelling on the legs, legs just like that of an elephant leg, this disease got its name as elephantiasis. And the last disease, that is a ringworm disease, it is caused by uh, a fungus that is a trichophyton, microsporum or epidermophyton. Uh, the main symptom of this disease is dry scaly patches on the skin, on different parts of the body, especially the skin, the scan as well as the nails. The one more disease that we uh, forgot uh, to discuss is about the common cold, that which you all know, common cold, the major symptoms are nasal congestion running nose, headache, sore throat, uh, fever, etc. So these are the symptoms of these diseases. So uh, today we have discussed about uh, health and diseases. So we have discussed about what is health, we have discussed about the factors that affect health, how can we maintain good health. We have also discussed about what is a disease, what is a pathogen, the various diseases and the disease causing organisms. The diseases, various diseases, the disease causing organisms and their symptoms. In the next class, we will discuss another topic 
So that's all for today. Thank you.